dynamic spinal mobility. We're going to take a look at the different ways the spine moves, flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation, and how you can apply dynamic light movement of the spine to help prepare your students for the circuit exercises to come. Now I need you to note that any students that have any type of spinal condition should have physician's clearance before they participate in a Silver and Fit Signature class. The Silver and Fit Signature class is designed for the general population that is cleared. So the student should be cleared to move their spine. So we're going to start looking at the spinal movements from a seated position. So your students are sitting nice and tall in their chair. And we're going to take this just very, very gently. Now again, we've talked about sitting. We've talked about students being slumped and in this position. So we don't want to overemphasize this flexion of the spine. So we're just going to start with the fingers right by the knees. And we're just going to have them reach forward a little bit. And they're going to slide their arms back to their hips, expanding the chest and bringing their shoulder blades together. So this flexion and extension of the spine, it's very, very small. So they're just gently flowing through flexion and extension of the spine. Moving to lateral flexion, your student's hands are going to be down. Now it's very important that they keep both buns planted on the chair. If they were to lift off the chair, there's a possibility that they could actually, with that weight shift, fall off the chair. So we want to cue them to be grounded. And this is a very, very small movement for lateral flexion. We need the spine nice and lengthened and long, the chest lifted. And they're simply just going to reach down just a little bit and then come back up. Reach down just a little bit and come back up. Now the tendency for your students is they're going to want to slump forward, and they're going to want to reach a little bit too far, so they're going to come here. So you can see that can be very dangerous to the spine because they're going to be flexed, they're rotating, and they're laterally flexing. So we need to keep length in the spine, and it's just a very small movement going side to side. So you'll notice that I'm keeping my hands down. So for some of your students, we'll call this the slide. It may feel better than taking their hands above their shoulders. But another option is have your students think they're just waking up in the morning. Just have them stretch up to where it feels good to their shoulder and come back center. And again, it could be a small stretch. It could be a bigger stretch, depending on their mobility. We're going to move into rotation of the spine next. Again, it's a small movement. We want them moving and rotating from their thoracic spine, so the upper rib cage area. So they're nice and tall. First, you can tell them to aim their shoulder towards their knee so they twist, and then you can have them reach and come back center. So first train them to get this twist, reach to the knee, and then come back center. Now what may happen is your students may just be moving their arms, right? And we're trying to get rotation. So that's, again, why we're going to shoulder to the reach, back center, shoulder reaching, and back center. Now we're going to take all these movements of the spine, and we're going to look at the next progression, which is standing with light support. So for your students that are up, and again, they can gently hold. Always we have the option of side or behind, wherever they're more comfortable. And right here, we can do that flexion and extension. Again, it's going to be small. So if they need to hold the chair, just have them reach one arm out. And just like we did in the chair, slide it back, lift and open. Now as they reach, you can have them pull their belly in, engage their abdominals, and then slide up. So see, it's a very, very small motion coming up. Now moving into lateral flexion, we can do the slide right here too. So again, just that little slide down. We can also do that reach up, like they're waking up in the morning. And that's a nice little combination, a slide and a reach. And then the last part is the rotation. So if they're holding the chair, we're going to have them, again, turn their shoulder to the corner of the room, reach, 
and then come back in. So cueing to turn the shoulder, reach, and come back in. So for light chair support, you would have your students repeat that entire series on the opposite side of the chair, um, obviously doing the opposite side. You work one side, you've got to work the other. Now for your more advanced students that are freestanding, we can have them completely come away from the chair, having a soft bend in the knees, nice long spine, and we can make this movement maybe a little bigger, so a little more range of motion for our flexion and extension. So you can have them think of giving somebody a hug and then opening up and standing tall. So pulling their belly in, giving somebody a hug, standing tall. You could say hug a tree, whatever visual you want, and coming up. Now for lateral flexion, we can obviously do the slide, coming from that nice, nice lengthened spinal position, or we could do the good morning stretch. We can also integrate this dynamically into our warm-up. So if you have your students moving in a toe tap up, we could add in that lateral flexion, which is a little reach. We could add in the rotation with a reach corner to corner. So there's lots of ways we can incorporate these movements of the spine, but remember, we always want to start from a nice lengthened spot. So that is spinal mobility.